There's been one big complaint with these Crown Vicks is that with the center console gone, there's been no cup holder. So, let's get some cup holders. We're going to head up to Walmart to see what kind of truck consoles they have and what kind of uh, little seat things they have. I got an idea. Uh, but first, we're going to have to swing by, put some E85 in this, and then we'll head up to Walmart. We got gas, so let's head. Coming out here to Walmart, it's always funny. It's always interesting to try to figure out which ones to go to because I have three Walmarts and they're all right at 20 to 25 miles from me in every direction. So I can go, yeah. Well, until they built this one, and this is one that's only like 12 miles. So, hey, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to try the $29 one that's the full length and then for the other car we're going to try a small one that we may be able to drill a hole and screw into the uh, console but we may use the other console for this so let's find out let's get out of this thing and back to the house done and the car just died well now that I got back from Walmart let me show you what I bought this one is going to go in the black and white and this one is going to go in the uh, the 2006 and I did that for a reason the big one we're gonna see if it fits right in but chances are we might have to build a brace the small one is gonna need a brace but the reason we got the small one it's because if we can drill a little hole in the bottom, we can put a screw in there and it will mount right straight up to the, uh, the console platform, so it'll be a permanent thing. So we took this one out. This is actually for a truck. Uh, I like the fact it's flat on the bottom, but it's made to fit in a seat and apparently it's got a locking thing with some keys to it. I don't know uh, so we'll take this out in a minute and see if it fits and this one is just a little one uh, it's got little cup holders right there we'll pull this off this is made to sit on a center console because you can see where it's curved or sit on the seat so let's take the first one out and see if it fits all right so let's pull this out and just set it in here for the moment and see what happens. That's actually fairly snug. There's only one problem I foresee with this. While it fits snugly, it does move. So we're 
gonna have to mount that at a later date but this will work for now it does fit really snug between the seats I mean it actually fits really snug so and the cup holders will work in the back seat so we'll probably uh, put some rubber down here to give it a little bit of traction and put it right here it'll probably hold everything really tight now let's grab the other one and see what kind of calamity is going to happen here because it seems like the smaller it is, the more difficult it ends up becoming. Well, apparently this is not going to fit. It's too wide. I should have measured. But we'll see if we can't find something and it'll go in this slot here. If you remember, the center console from the old police car uh, center console had cup holders in it. But let me show you why those won't work. While I originally thought this was a modular design, it actually screws in here and here. Well, not here, but there and over there. But it's open right here. So even if I take this off and slide it, it's going to not have anything to connect to on that side. And I originally wanted to use this console, but it turned out to be more of a pain. And I'm busy trying to avoid pain right now. Well, we're here in the car. We've got something that'll work. So let me show you how this is. Well, I'm not happy, but it's the only thing I could get to fit. It's a little two cup holder. I can't get it to fit that way, but it will fit this way. And if you look really carefully in here, it will uh, actually line up. So I got the bolts that will slide on these tracks. And... So now let's get this thing put in. Okay, so we've got it in. It's sliding. I got the nut on one, but as you see, it's sliding in here and it's holding. So we'll put the other nut on here and uh, tighten it down and she'll be good to go. And then we'll work on getting the bigger one in the other car set. And there it is. It's all secure. Things go in and out like they're supposed to. And we'll be able to keep our coffee from falling well it'll probably still fall into the back seat but it won't slide with any regularity it would appear that I've been schnookered while it will fit over this console here because I can slide it I don't have the mounting brackets for this while I have all the pieces for that this console is entirely too long so I'm gonna have to figure out what to do about that so I guess that's probably where I'm going to end the video. Uh, we don't have all the parts and I'm not even sure where to get the rest of the parts for that Giotto desk. Uh, the console works, it does fit in. I'll have to figure out a more permanent solution to get it to stick. Thinking about maybe some Velcro or some, uh, maybe some sticky fabric or a towel or something that will bite into that rubber without chewing it up. Um, but I was hoping the shorter console would work, and it would work if we had all the pieces. Now, if I ever take the one out of the other car, it'll work just fine. I can mount it. But that right there is a console that's meant to sit flush, flat. Uh, it's got no curvature for a hump or anything, so it looks like it was meant to sit between bucket seats, but I'm not sure yet. But anyhow... It's, uh, it's going to work for now. It'll sit there, and we'll figure out a way to make it more permanent. Like I said, I wish I could have got it stuck in more permanent for you, but that's it. So I appreciate it. If you like the videos, please subscribe. I know there wasn't a whole lot to this one, but some days there just aren't. So I appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next video.